Welcome to all the poor souls who happen to come across my channel. Today I'm going to be showing my first to five set, Schoolman, the best Joker in the CIS region or EU region, whichever you prefer. I'm going to get right into it. To know. <laughs> Why do you stare at me, Joker? Yeah, going into the set. A henchman with muscle. Mine will crush you to fine powder. Going into this set, I, I was a little nervous. Just because, yeah, I, I see the way he plays. I, I know that things are, uh, it's not sweet over there in EU, you know? He was playing some crazy neutral. Like, you gotta consider that. This, all of these sets were in 200 ping, but on PC, though, I, I didn't really feel the difference in PC. Until I fought someone in like high ping like this with a solid connection, you know Like I, it, it was smooth butter smooth, you know like yeah, he might be teleporting here and there But like, it was I, I was reacting to throws in 200 ping That's a great job Yeah, let's go on a day start Fight. Set up the hourglass just so he didn't have like any time to advance on me in that quick moment right there. And honestly, I was really just trying to feel him out this first game. But I realized like very quickly, like gimmicks were not gonna. What was the score? It, w wouldn't you like to know? Stay tuned and find out. Reaction. You feel me? 200 ping reaction. PC's kind of crazy now that I think about it. Poor choice. Oh, and he blocked that. That was so good. Oh, what's the score right now? It's uh, nil nil. So, zero to zero. You waste First game of the set. Time. Final round, fight. Got a nice little ball spot in the jack and box. Yeah, I realized he had the defensive bar, so I didn't really commit something too punishable. That was such a good reversal, Brad. Am I going the Evo? I want to try and make it. No promises, but I, I, I'm really going to put a solid effort into making it to Evo this year. I didn't. I, I, I think I was just a little too pussy there, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even want to try to whiff punish Joker. It's so risky. I could have had a punish there. Nice little trip guard with the sand trail. Predictable. Took the opportunity to use the interactable just to get full screen. Don't even want to be near as good. Nice. And he jumped. Who does that? Also, I could have had a, I, I could have had an opportunity to make that comeback there had I wall spot that forward one, but fumbled. Anyways, we're gonna cut right to the next game. One out. Round one. Fight. Easy whip punish. Light work, if you will. I was ducking there. I was uh, I was preemptively looking for another grab. But instead, he decided to wait on that exchange, and the very next exchange, he just grabbed me again. There were so many false boxes, so it was insane. He likes he liked to break away a lot, too. You can remove the opportunity of me kind of setting anything up. It's really annoying in the grand scheme of things, but play around it. As well. Waste my time. Round 
two. Fight! Oops, oops. Now that I realize it, Jasper, you're also a Joker player, right? You are going to thoroughly enjoy this head then. Bumble. First time the movie can get after that. Sheesh! That's a punish. I that thing on lock. That was such good answer. I don't know if he was scouting that, if that was the reason, but it was almost instantaneous that he did that. Also followed it up with the Shim Jim. So what is it? 25 almost or not uh, 35 almost 36 percent. Punish. See, I tried to do a stand two into a back dash and hopefully whiff punish that, but his reaction was too good. I, I think I tr attempted a stand two stagger multiple times this set and never once was able to get it off with any of like the gimmicks. Oh yeah, this looks like a bomb. Grab. A little risky since he has so much life. He's one. You should have been willing to make a harder read there, but we take what we get. One with the gauntlet to make up the lost rounds. Here's one of the best move pools there. Just keeping it really safe. Granted, I think Joker can punish down for Sand Trap at that range, but I think generous pretty safe options. Bonus block. He could have gotten a trade combo there. I don't know why that didn't combo, but. And I just waited. Waited. And that'd be game two. It is currently 1 1 in the set. So, game number three, it's currently 1 1. He immediately makes up the lost rounds. I was walking back a lot on the match start. Going red? Try to wake up buttons, hit him with a good meme. And rips, you should get Bandino's under stream. That kid is insane. I'm blocking, it happens. Your end is near. It wasn't live, that's why I'm showing it now. This happened about about an hour ago. Two. Fight. Casuals. I think towards the middle of the set, though, it is just some of the most insane games I've ever played. Not even the middle, it's close to the first three point. Optimal grab, the standard grab instead of the command grab, so I can maintain. Oh, he's going to duck a west there. Really smart. Drops the combo, pick it back up with the pressure. Got a nice little flawless block read. Wanted to push him towards the corner, not fully though. Wanted to maintain that mid, that mid range, stay towards the center of the screen. And I had the anti air there, but just didn't quite anticipate the gravity. See, I tried to flawless block that. I got a good breakaway, which totally got me away from every one of those scenarios. Used the gauntlet, like I said, to make up for the lack of range. And do a uh, sand clone gimmick to take the dub there. And it was going to cut to game number four. Number four, the score is currently 2 1 in my favor. Dude, and this is one of the things that I immediately recognized about Schoolman is the moment I inch forward against him, I guess the, probably the, at the very beginning of the game, I always back up, but the moment I inch forward, he are, immediately recognized that I was moving forward and just threw out a button to catch me advancing. Like, such great screen control and neutral. Uh, I was just really impressed by that alone. Off rip. See, try to do another stand two stagger. Backed up, didn't want to deal with the very safe block mind game there. It's a banger set though. Yeah, it was really, really fun to, to play.
I figured he would try and delay his buttons there. That's why I mashed on negative seven. I figured he'd delay his buttons in case of just out of fear of the false fuck my game. So I took the risk, wanted to maintain my turn. And I fumbled there, I fumbled. I, I don't know why, but I thought he was just a little bit closer. I could have punished that. Round two, fight. He, and he kept catching me with the, with the breakaways. And I think more jokers need to start doing that. Because my first thought is to preemptively just immediately break out of that scenario, but he was catching me so many times. Now, I dropped that combo, but I immediately recognized I was going to drop it, and I just decided to opt the command grab. I didn't want to be in that corner. That's where I'm going to lose, you know? Caught him. Trying to advance, and I also tried to make a little read on the breakaway there, but he didn't fall for it. Oh, and he just barely hit. Oh my god, he barely outspaced the forward three there, which was so good by him. And this is so much more damage than I thought. I honestly, when he first hit me, I thought, hey, I might live. You know, I'm, I'm still at 31, 32% before the fatal even hit. That thing does so much damage. Anyways, we're going to cut the game five on the screen, but the YouTube viewers won't. That's what's important. A really good up space there. Push the grab on me. I thought he was gonna throw backwards just because I've been taking throws pretty consistently across the board. Went for an interactable. I had enough health to take a nice rebound. And honestly, Rips, the only reason the, the only reason I'm even kind of as good in this matchup as I am is just because Sully is on my team. He's in the chat right now. He's Aside from Sonic, he's the best Joker in, in North America, and I've had more than enough opportunities to fight him in casuals and in tournament. Now, that wasn't a read, but I'm glad it worked out. The invincibility frames saved me from the up two gap on Gears's four two one two. Try to press there, he jailed it. Try to do the exact same thing. I died for it. Did so much damage in this exchange just because I wanted an up two. Smiles are free. Round two. Fight. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> he was he was whipping some insane buttons there. Is Tweety best gears? I think so. I would say Tweety's the best gears. I always do that. Really bad habit of mine. But Pick it up with the zoning plus frames. I knew he was gonna try and press some buttons there, so I waited just a second to anticipate another little sequence. And he caught me with the shimmy there. Did a full dash up his throw. Now he tried to make another little sequence there. Oh, and this was so scary. And right there, only because I broke away was he unable to get that KB. And that would have been that would have been like the first three set. If you will. It was such a big scramble, but had I not had breakaway there, game was over. Final round. Fight. Now you gotta he recognize that I was probably gonna try and down forward just because it's something I've been doing, so he waited for that to come out and then he dashed up and grabbed it. That was a good duck punish there on the projectile from the screen. He dashed under my jump in. And then anti me on me. Now this was so scary. Nice little exchange there. I took the throw. I have plenty of mind games being at play. I just press buttons immediately to catch him dashing up. Oh, dash up. I tried to go for the trip guard there, but I was a little late on it. Went for the delay short hop. Always seems to work. And I got him advancing again with the down four into the sand trap. Now I did that because I know I had done it previously and it's still risky there, but I did it that time only because I had the hourglass right in front of me. So had he attempted to punish, had he blocked down four sand trap and then attempted to punish, he wasn't gonna, he was gonna get hit by the hourglass. 
<laughs> so the current uh, the current score is three two. I feel like this is when everything just kind of gets really wild. And he kept trying to go for that string. Uh, like I think every single time I ball slot it. Predictable. Oh, that was such a good duck. Cool. This match was five five. Even on all ends. And to answer your question earlier, uh, YB Trash is, I think it depends on who you ask, but Gur or myself, it, it, either of us could be the second best gears. It really just depends on who you ask. I would pick Gur, but some other people might disagree. That was so good. Oh, and he fumbled there. Dude, and he. I don't, I don't really know, I don't really understand that exchange there, but I'm going to assume that he ducked the stand one and grabbed me in between the one one. Round two, fight. Y'all ever played each other? Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, last time I played Gur was at MKNJ, uh, which is an offline tournament and I beat him 3-0. I just made a quick little read there, assuming he's gonna try and punish me and wake up from the breakaway. And that school man was chewing me. What kind of... For you tuning in, I'm currently up 3 2 in the set. Now he tried to. I, he had Schoolman waited just a second there, just because he knew that I was capable of walls blocking that up jack in the box. And that, uh, you know, save him. Now, yeah, I'll, I opted for the gauntlet there, just because I wanted to make up some neutral space there. Final round, fight! A lot of exchanges going on here. Too many things on the screen, but as soon as all disappeared, he just took the opportunity to get inside. Immediately grabbed. Now he had a great man grab right here. I think this was a really strong read by school. He got the armor break, went for the side switch as well, and he got the conversion. 43, almost 44%. Now, I'm just, I, at this point, I was quite literally doing anything to make up for lost damage. That was the turning point. He dropped the combo, got a miss input, and he gave me the punish. And I went to Micro Duck after an early jump three because I just had a feeling, you know. And that was game. Now, if you think that was insane, Rips, keep keep watching, keep watching. Now, I made a really bad read there. I thought he would keep advancing, but he was too patient for me. Ooh, and I just barely escaped the jack in the box there. I am timeless. Nice. Got the shimmy. Went for a delay short hop two. And medium one one. This was today, it was about an hour ago. Now I tried to get the conversion there, I went for another stand one into temporal advantage, but uh, just because the second stand or the one one was. And that grab, just because you Joker has 90 health, did a little bit more damage than I thought. I honestly thought I was going to have to go in and play the meaty bind in. Fight. And I set that up immediately, and I recognize in the future that setting up Hourglass right next to me isn't a good idea for Joker, because he can reset neutral and get himself out of that at any point. So you'll see in the future, if I'm going to set up Hourglass, I'm doing it just one ring in the head. Oh, when he just called me trying to dash up there. Called it out. Got the whole combo. You hear the voices? Final round. Fight! 
Oh, and so I tried to outspace that forward two one, but he just staggered the forward two. Immediately went in. Now this was also really good. Exactly what he was fearing the last time. I'd only flawless blocked it the last time he'd done that setup. And so this time I assumed he would probably go in because he'd think I would respect it. Or he thought I would respect it. And I will opt to up to you know, get a little bit of damage on the table here into a setup. Nothing out of it. Oh, and that was so sweaty. I don't know why I did that. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> it worked out, you know? Here we go. Nice anti-air combo. I just lost bucket everything for no reason. The invincibility frames to get out of there. And holy crap, he hit me with the 4 3 2 KB. Into the fatal. This did so much damage. Now the set score is currently 4 to 3, my favorite. So the score is 4 to 3, my favorite. On reaction, I'd seen him jump, so I tried to get an instant jump one, but he only short hopped, so he got the punish on me. Now, every single exchange prior to that, every time I did 2 4 3, or 2 4 1, he had back dash. So, on that time, that one time, the first time in the set, I tried to follow it up with a forward three to catch him back dashing, and he pressed buttons for the first time in the set. He was making such good reads the entire time. And it was a super strong round from Schoolman. Round two, fight. Now see, it was just one of those unfortunate scenarios. I tried to set up the hourglass where he would reset neutral, but this time he was just a little too close to punish me for the KB. And I, I jumped over, I got the side switch, I didn't even want to deal with playing next to him, I just immediately tried to dash away. Now, set up the clone. A little bit of a whiff there, a little bit. And I got 34 cents. Now I didn't use the grab KB there. Tried to keep it. I think he wanted the fear of the fatal blow cancel because he assumed in the next. Jesus, dude, and that punished. I tried to do a delay breakaway, but it didn't matter. It was covering way too much time. That fatal was so active. And Schoolman takes that. Set score is currently four to four. This will be the final game of the set. We are on match point. Both Schoolman and I. 4-4. Four, four. Now, I was getting a little... I realized it was the final game of the set that I was going to be able to record, so I just kind of started doing things, you know? It's going to race. I wanted to get out of there. Not once did Schoolman even try to use the interactions to catch me. Took the opportunity to just get back to the other side. He was catching me with a lot of his projectiles, which is pretty unfortunate. Early jump three. He wanted that anti air. Back up. Waited for him just to get a little impatient. Go ahead with the sand trap. There were some mini mind games out of there. I didn't get the breakaway, but I did get the short hop mind game there. Your end is near. Round two, fight. Now, I'm not really too sure what he was trying to go for. Maybe trying to catch me down four, because forward three, if a lot of people don't know, forward three from Joker actually low crushes Gears is down four. So, many many times, if you're just... Oh, and that was such a whip on the I'll actually just get out of that but a little part here, trying to make a breakaway read. 
And I tried to get the, the false block from the up three. I had the read there, but it just didn't come out. Now a good reverse throw. Now we're in the corner versus Joker. It's not looking too good for us, but we got out. <laughs> we're back in there. Now Gears is gauntlet, reverse punch, Joker, and he, dude, he just recognized it. He knew I wanted to set something up. He just dashed immediately and got the breakaway read. He had both bars to get a 48% combo for the comeback. Final round, fight. Now I just woke up with that one. I needed to get out of that corner if I wanted to win this next round. My pattern recently with zoning has been sand trap, dash back, sand trap so i just did double sand trap no movement just to catch him there. he's been playing really good i'm trying to catch me the entire time now another reversal gauntlet same scenario double sand trap no movement in between just to catch him i wanted to use the gauntlet there in case i did hit him just to send him back full screen and something i just didn't have been playing in my head was i wanted to get the hell away but yeah, I guess we're up close to him again. Yo, know, I just, I was so ballsy there. I just went for 1-1 one, one sand trap. In the final exchange, caught him with the jump too, or the body splash. And that's the set. Took a 5-3 against the best joker in the CIS region. After this game, I'm going to rated out to probably Tweety for his tournament where Turkey is going to be playing in my teammate. I don't know why I kept doing that. I, I kept flawless box every single time. Chuck going for another command grab. He, dude, he recognized me moving up because Garrus' is okay isn't real on command grab in the corner. You can just press buttons if you see me jump like running forward. Try and close the distance. It's, it's pretty much fun, but he did such a good job there, just calling me out. Now he saw me break. Oh my god, dude. I did I thought that I had actually gotten the jack in the box to hit the way I wanted it to, so I can get the reversal gauntlet punish. But I guess I I didn't. And he ducked it preemptively, reading the gauntlet, and just smoked me for it. Now there we go, that's where I wanted to get the punish. Lift punish. Knew he was gonna dash up on midi. So just caught him with the, with the sand trap. He was just doing a whole lot of EA. Yeah, yeah, I I actually I missed the input here. I mean uh they confirm. So I just went for the next best thing, which was sand trap. You waste my time. I was still able to get him for the following round into the corner. But who wins? They literally, they literally played right before this. I don't know who won the set though. Really. Yeah, I got a dashed up just a little bit into the duck, so I was able to get that ball spot and punish it. And I realized that he just, at this point in the set, I don't think he was fuzzing anything. So I just started going for like sand traps. But he still called out the stagger there. Like he, he re immediately recognized it. And just down one. We had the exact same idea there. I used the interactable to get out. Invincibility frames are a godsend. Made a little read there that he was going to read for her. No, it's not looking too good for your boy. It's not looking too good for your boy. <laughs> I tried to scam. <laughs> hey, but that is, um, that would have been the first to five. And just a disclaimer, Schoolman ended up having a little bit, a few more games. After I started switching variations, he got a few more games on the end. I think overall he was probably up in the set. If that's what we want to call it past the first to five, but, um, you know, that's the video.